Hi, and welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Retro Refix. And on this week's episode, we have the Commodore 16 that I picked up last week from Alex. Uh, this Commodore 16 had a couple of broken keys. Um, as you can see in the image, we've got a three key and the zero key plunger are broken as well. Um, so what I've actually done is bought another keyboard, complete keyboard off the eBay because I needed the keys. I've got plenty of plungers, that's not one of the problems. It was the keys that I were missing for these because I don't have another one of these. So I've bought another keyboard off eBay. Um, what I've done now is I've just stripped the keys off the keyboard that you can see over there. I stripped all the keys off. Um, I've put them in a tub, soaking in some water at the moment because they're quite, quite disgusting and dirty. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just pull the motherboard out of the base and that can go for a wash. Uh, and same with the keyboard top. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll come back to you. So that's the main board out of there and you can see in the picture it, it, it is crusty and it is dusty inside there, it's been in there a long time. So I'm just going to put that away and that's going to go get a wash. Um, this side I'm going to take the keyboard out and we're going to give that a wash as well. We don't need this keyboard so I may as well just keep the screws to one side. Sorry for my arm. I'm going to just pop all these out, there's about eight screws. A bit tougher than one, so I might just like a second bigger screwdriver. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to do that, then I'll come back to you again. Okay, so I've just taken the eight screws out that go around here, and that's left it for the keyboard to be able to go in the wash. I'm not bothered about the LED, um, it's not going to get water in there anyway, they're all a sealed unit. So that's fine, it's not a problem at all. So yeah, so that's going to go away. I'm going to have a bit of a clean. I don't know if you can see on camera or not there, but it's very crusty inside there. It's, you can hardly see it, look. And it's a bit crusty up there and around these areas. It wants a really good clean, it's dirty. It doesn't look very worn, but it's, it's dirty. It's just mean. It's been sat around for a long time and nobody's cared for it. So I'm going to give that a good clean up. Um, and then I'll come back to you once I've washed the keys and the case and we're going to uh, put it all back together. Right, so what I've done now is I've um, got the keyboard back together, I've put it back into the case and we've rebuilt the keyboard, put it all back together. As you can see, as you can see, it's nice and clean. We've cleaned it all up, the keyboard's looking fantastic now. Um, so yeah, that's just need to go back together now. So I've got the bottom case, it's all nice and clean again. So that's great. What we're going to do now is put that motherboard, just, just test that motherboard now, just to make sure that it's working. So I'm just going to flip that on now. Yay! So we're still working, that's great. Um, so the power supply was bad, so I've had to get hold of another power supply for it. But what I'm going to do now is just put it all back together. Right, I've got the Commodore 16 all rebuilt back together now. It's back in its case, as you can see. It's all nice, the keys are looking good. Um, I just wanted to start it up now and just check the keyboard, make sure all the keys are working. So I'm just going to pan you up to the TV screen now. I'm hoping the screen will uh, show you quite good on there. I don't know whether it's going to show you wavy lines or not, so I apologise for that if it does that now. So I'm just going to pan you up. So there you go, you can see the keys are there. We're just going to try the keys now. One, two, three, four, six, nine, zero. That's a back arrow, that's a left arrow, that's an up arrow, that's a down arrow, that's a delete. Um, CTRL, let's see if it changes colour. Yes, it did, it changed white. So QWERTY. Yep. And then U I O U P. So that all that works, see if the, that goes back up to the top, so that's good. Next row of keys, which with the run stop restore, deload, 
that tries doing that because it doesn't do for the tape of the device when you do that. Um, so we know that the shift and the run stop works. Shift we know works. A, D, F. Yep, that works. Does we change colour again? Yep, we've changed colour again with the Commodore key. So we know that works. So yep, that works. So does the other shift key, pound sign equals graphic graphic. These are the F1 keys. Um, D load is on F2, F3, directory. F1, D save, legal error, run, list. So yeah, so we've got the keyboard working. Um, everything's done and dusted now. Um, so I'm just going to change the camera. Right, as you can see, we're all back up and running again. A bit of paper boy running there. So, what I've thought about doing um, is on a Wednesday night, I'm going to do a bit of a play on the games, a bit of play around on them really on a Wednesday, a bit of a fool around. I don't know what you think. If you think it's a good idea and you'd like to see some games being played, we can do requests and things like that. Um, yeah, just yeah, drop us some comments down and see what you think about that. It's just something that we're toying with on doing on a Wednesday night. I thought I do play on my games quite regular away, so I thought I might let you join in on a Wednesday. So, like I said, pop a comment in the bottom and uh, we'll have a chat about it and see about doing that. So if you've enjoyed the shows and the episodes that I keep putting on, please do a like and subscribe and hit the bell. And you'll be notified for any upcoming videos coming on. And thank you very much for watching another episode of the 8-Bit Retro Refix. Bye!